she was very vibrant, joyful. She had a very infectious laugh. She was only 18. Russell's face lights up when he remembers his sister, Shahida. You can see how close we were. She died three years ago after having a fatal reaction to a chicken burger cooked in buttermilk. She was allergic to dairy and asked the restaurant for dairy-free food. Her death has left an indelible mark on her family. I felt suicidal. I felt so empty. Um, I didn't want to live anymore just purely because I thought, she's 18 years old, my little sister, how could this happen? Cases like Shahida's are massively increasing. ITV News has found there were 368 complaints to councils following an allergic reaction to food or drink in restaurants and takeaways last year. That is more than double the number in 2015. Nearly a quarter of those were customers going into anaphylactic shock, the most severe and potentially life-threatening reaction. Three customers died, including 18-year-old Dylan Hill from Barnsley, who ate a curry containing peanuts. 15-year-old Chloe Gilbert from Bath, who died from a dairy allergy after eating a kebab. And Natasha Ednan Laparouse, who died after eating a Pret-a-Manger baguette containing sesame. My name's Kerry Rudway. I'm here to do a routine food stands inspection. So serious the problem, Surrey Trading Standards has a dedicated team monitoring restaurants and their allergen policies. They test food to ensure it is what the customer asks for. Here I've sampled beef rice noodles. This dish will then get sent off to the public an analyst and be tested for the presence of egg. This restaurant has never had a problem, but its owner is more aware of the dangers of allergies than ever. I think it's quite challenging if you're in a restaurant where the chef is, is, a, is, is not close to the customer mm. because they've got to convey that information to the, to the person taking the order. The person taking the order has got to con convey it to maybe somebody else and then to the chef. There's, there so can be quite a lot. There. There, potentially, yeah. yes. And our data proves that miscommunication oh, yeah. is the overriding reason customers get ill. I mean, you can have all the regulations in the world but if they are not applied, then there's very little point in having them in the first place. So the onus is really on food businesses now to train their staff and train them properly. No one has ever been prosecuted for Shahida's death. Her brother urgently wants something to change before another family has to go through what he has.